Okay, to upgrade your drivers, uh, actually unlike your sound card, your video drivers are updated constantly by the manufacturers of, uh, of the video card. So there are one of two ways to do it. Generally you can go to the approved uh, driver from the OEM's website or original equipment manufacturer like Dell or HP and download the driver there or you can go directly to your video card manufacturer's website which is more than likely to have a more updated version of the video card uh, as well. Um, generally the drivers are published based on the series. So uh, say for instance if I had a GeForce, NVIDIA GeForce card 9000 series, there'll be a, a GeForce driver published. And the same is true with ATI, which is the rival to NVIDIA. So uh, if we go into the device manager in Windows, you'll have the opportunity to update it. Now with the newer video cards, the driver is up, updated automatically when you execute the driver package from the website. So if you download the driver itself, it'll install the new driver automatically. Uh, you'll also see the flame, uh, screen flicker. You'll, uh, it, it's nothing to worry about. It's just the video card readjusting uh, or Windows readjusting to the new driver for the video card itself. So let's take a look here. If you go to the control panel and double click on device manager, you'll get a tree of different uh, devices that are installed on your computer. You go to the um, display adapters and then you'll notice that there is an NVIDIA GeForce 8600M GT card installed on mine which is nice I guess for a gamer. Uh, you double click on it and then you go to the driver tab and click on update driver and that will update it for you. Uh, there are uh, uh, new drivers uh, released probably every two or three months for each driver or each device card. So if you want to keep up to date, the most up to date to, uh, to you and relevant to you, make sure you go to that website. Uh, for me, it'd be nvidia.com and download the new GeForce drivers.